Guys, the holidays are back on us, and it's that time of year again to bring you the Such Holiday Gift Guide presented by GetZone.com. And we're going to be taking a look today at a number of different firearms, many that have just been introduced this year. And this video is sponsored by Crossbreed Holsters. Uh, they make some of the best holsters on the market. Guys, if you're in the concealed carry world, you know about Crossbreed Holsters. And guys, there's a lot of holster makers out there, but when you stand above the crowd, it says a lot about your product, and that's one of the things about crossbreed holsters. Uh, they really got their start with the super tuck and then the mini tuck for the hybrid type system. But today we're going to take a look at their reckoning. And this is in the standard reckoning holster. And then we're going to look at the reckoning system. Uh, one of the things about the reckoning is it is a hybrid holster, but it's very compact, has a really premium leather backing. I mean, this leather is extremely well finished. Embossed into the leather is the crossbreed symbol. And of course, we've got them on the clips. And these are inside the waistband clips. You have a trigger guard retention system here that you can adjust with an Allen wrench. And the shell is Kydex and it's very well finished. In fact, all of crossbreed holsters are hand fitted and there's a lot of attention to detail. And that's the reason why these are really exceptional. Now here we have the P365. These guns have been safety checked. Uh, we're just gonna place it into the holster and you can wear it again, tucked away appendix five o'clock, however you want to carry it. And guys, with the reckoning, it's excellent for appendix carry. I can bring it in. These clips hold up very well. Here, I mean, it really conceals well. With the backing, it gives you a lot of support, gives you a lot of comfort. Draw the firearm very quickly. It's one of the quickest ways to be able to draw your firearm. Now, if you want a lot more support, the Reckoning system is excellent, especially if you're carrying an extra magazine. Now, with the Ulti Clip wing, this actually pushes against your belt, and this helps to ride it on the body. We have the same metal clips, we have the same leather backing and holster, and then these features are just added on. And this one is for the Springfield Hellcat, and again, we can set our retention however we want to. Now with the reckoning system, we've got it installed. We've got our clips here. We've got our wing right here to be able to push out. And this really holds close to the body. And then of course we have our extra spare magazine right here if we can get to it. It just spreads everything out. You've got a lot going on right here and no one knows the difference. And then when you need it, you're ready to go. And the reckoning can be adapted to outside the waistband using these OWB clips. And here we have it on the outside. And the cant can be adjusted according to where you put the clips. Very easy to do. Now on the Reckoning, the leather backer does come in black. It comes in a horse hide color or it comes in the Founders, kind of a tan brown color. You have multiple choices with the Kydex colors as well. Uh, they make inside the waistband, outside the waistband, leather holsters, belts, and a number of other accessories. And guys, for more information about the Crossbreed Holsters, go to crossbreedholsters.com. Now, probably one of the most exciting firearms that have been introduced this year is the uh, Springfield Armory Hellcat. The main reason is this is a micro size, excellent for concealed carry pistol, and yet it holds 11 plus one in the magazine. And about the same size as your SIG P365, which has really hit the market by storm, and Springfield Armory's answer actually topped it. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and make sure the gun is unloaded. We're gonna drop our 11 round magazine, and of course the gun is empty. Uh, but not only is 11 rounds, they have the 13 round with an extended base plate. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in. It does have a little bit of a lip there. Uh, now you can add the flat base plate to this one if you wanna really get it small. One of the big things about this pistol too is the adaptive grip texturing. There are pyramids all throughout, and there are large pyramids that have the tops cut off. And then in between those pyramids are small pyramids with tips. It's definitely a little grippy, but when you lock into the firearm, you can feel the grip just really come into its own. And of course, it even has a memory pad here for your finger when you're not firing front and rear cocking serrations. Uh, we also have a U-notch in the back and then a tritium bead at the front. Another really big plus is the plate. And we have an adapter plate here that can be removed and you can put on a shield, RMS, or one of the micro red dots. And the guide rod comes out just a little bit past the barrel as a standoff device. And another feature of the Hellcat is its flat face trigger. Now it has your trigger shoe safety, but if we take and pull this trigger, it is a nice break. And that flat face really helps. Reset right there. 
And while this is a micro subcompact pistol with the grip, especially the extended grip, this shoots really well, uh, even with full house, self-defense loads, plus P loads. I mean, it really stays on target. It's a pleasure to shoot at the range. And with the adaptive grip texturing, it's easy to grab hold of. You feel like you've got a solid purchase on the firearm. And 11 plus one, 13 plus one, uh, this one's going to be a hard one to beat. And for concealed carry, you want all the rounds that you can get. Plus, who doesn't love a gun called the Hellcat? <laughs> the guys next on the list is the new Rock Island Armory VRPA-40. Now, this is a pump shotgun, box-fed magazine, a lot of cool features. And, of course, with Rock Island Armory, the quality is there, but the price is right. Now, to make sure the gun is unloaded, we're going to drop our five-round box magazine. Go ahead and pull back on the pump and make sure that the gun is unloaded. One thing you're going to notice, though, is this mag well. This is great to be able to load these mags in, and with the box feed, you need that mag well. It is flared, and they go in really solid. Now, to release your bolt, just hit this button and pull back, and then you can load your rounds in. Very smooth action. The barrel is 18 and a half inches. It does have an aluminum heat shield. We have Picatinny rail right along the top, so you can put whatever kind of optic you want. We have a ghost ring in the back that's protected by ears. Then we have a fiber optic front sight with a serrated ramp. Polymer stock with a pistol grip. It does have a recoil reducing bud pad, and guys, with the way this thing is shaped, it just fits right in your shoulder. It comes with a modified screw-in choke, but also included is a full choke and a cylinder bore choke with a wrench in this little case. Now, one of the great things about a pump shotgun is they are just reliable, and with the super smooth action that the VRPA-40 carries, it just gives you a lot of confidence at the range, especially the Fiocchi high-velocity two and three-quarter shells. Uh, it does also take three-inch shells as well. Now, one of the most exciting things about this shotgun is that they do take the nine-round and the 19-round Rock Island Armory magazines. These are separately available. But guys, this gives you a lot of capacity. And especially for home defense or a tactical situation, you're going to have a lot of rounds right at your fingertips. And these mags work, and they work well. And always with Rock Island Armory, they do have a limited lifetime warranty, and you can check out Rock Island Armory for more details. Next, we have the Taurus G3. Uh, this is a very exciting firearm because the G2 Compact was extremely popular. And one of the things about Taurus is, is the price is right, but man, these guns, the quality is excellent. First thing we're going to do is make sure the gun is unloaded. We're going to drop our 15 plus 1 magazine, and the gun is empty. It also comes with a 17 round magazine with an extended base plate. And then this just allows you to get even a better grip on the handgun, but... Even with the 15 round magazine, it still feels like a full size grip. The texturing is exceptional. It's very aggressive. The panels all the way through. So when you're shooting, you feel like you've got a great grip on the handgun. Then we have these little areas right here, one for your thumb and your shooting finger. Uh, the pads, which are just depressed, excellent memory place to put your finger. The polymer frame has a very nice quality look to it. We have a Picatinny rail with three slots, and we have an anodized finish on top. Uh, the sights are a three dot with a Novak style at the back, and it does have a standard frame safety plus striker safety, and then we have the trigger safety. One of the things about the trigger is you have your trigger shoe here, you bring it in, a really nice break for a striker fire pistol. Okay, and then reset right there. Uh, so first off, the trigger is excellent. Now let's say you pull the trigger on a dead chamber or a dead round. This actually gives you second strike capability. And so that is something that you're not seeing on most of your striker fire firearms. And taking the G3 out to the range, we shot about 500 rounds through this pistol without any type of malfunction whatsoever. And with the aggressive texturing, you have a good full grip on the handgun. And guys, it shoots like a dream. And I'll tell you, with that trigger, it really makes a difference. And they do have a full lifetime warranty on these pistols. Now, coming up next is the Gerson Regard MC. This is followed after one of the most popular handguns in the world, the Beretta 92. This is the open barrel design. I mean, in fact, most of the parts are interchangeable with the Beretta 92, except for the barrel and the locking block, even the magazines. And we're going to drop the magazine. It comes with an 18 plus one, and these are made by Metgar. 
Check to make sure the chamber is empty. Now with the hammer back, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the decocker, just like on the Beretta 92. And then to fire it, you just push it up in the up position. This particular model has the FDE or Desert Sand color. It is a Cerakote. And they do make a black model and a two-tone model, kind of a gray steel frame with a black slide. This one also has a Picatinny rail at the front with black accents, with the grips, and with all the controls. But one big departure from the Beretta 92 is the finger grooves molded into the grip, which makes it really nice. And then we have serrations on the back. We have three dot sights. The safety is ambidextrous, nice, generous slide release. And of course, your magazine release here. Uh, the beaver tail gives you a very nice ride. And guys, I'm telling you, taking this out to the range, it's just a joy to shoot. Now, your son has been in business since 1991. It is an ISO 9001 standard company. Uh, and they are a NATO approved company for their firearms. They make a lot of firearms for the Turkish military and imported all over the world. And guys, the price is right, considerably less than any M9 or Beretta 92 that's out on the market. So guys, whether you're looking for gifts for family, friends, or you just want something for yourself, I hope that this just gave you some good ideas about some of the products that are out there. Man, there's a lot of them. And I really appreciate GetZone.com for putting this together. Guys, they are the number one Second Amendment supporting video platform on the internet. And also, we want to thank Crossbreed Holsters for sponsoring this video. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic, and Merry Christmas.